Well, I don't know if uh, I cleared up enough space to actually be able to make this video. Um, I don't have internet at my house or my apartment. Because although I set it up for automatic withdrawal, the company that is doing the internet didn't withdraw it. I've been through years of hell because people don't care. They think their pretty words will fucking fix this. Telling me pretty words does not stop my predators. It does not put them away. And it does not protect me from them. Neither do the words, I'm sorry. Chris Stegman fucked up. He fucked up real big. He pretends he's my friend, but only when he's drunk. The rest of the time he's in a shitty fucking mood and doesn't really want to talk to anybody, which I can understand. But if I'm only your friend when you're fucking drunk, then I'm not your friend. A lot of people were telling me how much they love me, how much they care. But then when it came to popularity between being ostracized for telling the truth or throwing me away like trash, well, they all proved that they just don't. They don't love me. They don't care about me, or they would have fucking spoken up. But then again, it's fine, because it's not happening to them. It's fine, because it's not happening to you. Meanwhile, all these things that BLM is bitching about happen to the homeless. More than all other hate crimes combined. Imagine that. More hate crimes against the homeless than all other hate crimes combined. And the homeless account for 0.2% of the population. Yet they account for almost half of those killed by police last year. I don't need your bullshit. I don't need an I'm fucking sorry. I don't need fair weather friends who only give a fuck when it suits them. I need help or I need my life to end. If you don't give a fuck about me, don't post up shit about suicide awareness, bitch. Because you treated me completely like fucking shit for wanting my life to end. Because nobody gives a fuck about the homeless or the disabled. Roast in hell, you son of a bitches.